Hello, my friends, hello, and welcome once again to the harrowing Von Manor, where I have barely escaped disaster. So, I don't know if you caught yesterday's thrill-packed video, but Roger over here came up with a foolproof plan to destroy the 500 book challenge, to wipe it from existence, in fact, the 500 book challenge, the challenge that I am on, the challenge to read 500 books I already own before I will buy any new ones. So obviously this was a grave mistake because I am an even slower reader than I suspected since I've been keeping track of the things I read. So Roger came up with a plot to destroy the 500 book challenge, to wipe it from existence. He has a time machine, Roger does, and his bright idea was to go back in time, me and him, where we would go to before I announced the 500 book challenge. I would murder my younger self and take his place so that the 500 book challenge would never be announced. Thus, the timeline would change and everything about the 500 book challenge would vanish. And I'd probably have a whole bunch of whole bunch more books by now, you know, than I do. Unfortunately, it was brought to my attention just in time that if I murdered my younger self, I myself would cease to exist because I would be dead, having, you know, well, killed myself. Roger, why didn't you think of that? You know, Roger, if I didn't know better, I would think you were up to something. But, you know, Roger, he's a trustworthy sort, so it just must have been some sort of, I don't know, accident that she, that she didn't remember that. Well, you know, he is 10,000 years old. You can't expect him to figure out everything, even if he is a genius. Anyway, so that plot failed, and the 500 book challenge still exists, and seems like it will continue to exist for years and years and years and years. Years of me just reading books that I already own and not buying any new ones for myself. Oh well, I have no choice but to carry on. So, what am I going to be doing on this dumb channel and what will I be reading? Well, you've already seen some of the stuff I'm going to be reading because I've been making these dopey TBR videos because I got this big messy TBR shelf over there that you can't see because it's all messy and stuff. So I'm not actually going to show the shelf. But you know, some of the things that are coming up in the future. Well, we do have Occult Detective October coming up. And I am going to be reading Landon Connors Occult Detective Volume 1. This is Landon Connors right there. And it's written by Bob Freeman, this fella who has his own booktube channel and talks about all kinds of cool things. Bob Freeman does. And so I will be reading Landon Connors, which is a big old, big old book. It's not really that old. It's pretty new, actually. It's a big book of occult detective stories. 500 pages, in fact. Unfortunately, it doesn't count towards the 500 book challenge because... It's a book by a booktuber, and I bought it after the challenge started. Which you can do. You can support your fellow booktubers and friends. The catch is, is that the books that you buy from these booktubers and friends don't count towards the challenge. But I'm going to read it anyway, because it looks like an awesome book. And it seems perfect for Occult Detective October. So I'm definitely going to be reading Landon Connors. After that will be a bunch of books that do count. Right now I'm in the middle of, well, not quite in the middle. I'm more or less in the middle of reading all of the Conan stories by Robert E. Howard. I'm reading them in the three volume set from Del Rey books, which is fortunate considering I'm on the challenge and this will count for three books instead of one. I could have read the one volume edition. Good thing I didn't choose to do that. But then, in the future, I've got all these other cool books coming up, like this one, M.R. James, The Collected Ghost Stories. M.R. James, The Collected Ghost Stories. He wrote great supernatural fiction, and I've been wanting to 
revisit M.R. James for a long time. It just so happens that for next month, next month's pick for Roger's Cheap Old Book Club, cheapest books around, you can get them for free on Project Gutenberg, no, no excuse not to join along. For Roger's Cheap Old Book Club next week, it's Ghost Stories. Is it for an antiquary or of an antiquary? Now I can't remember. It's Ghost Stories of an Antiquary. I can never remember that. Ghost Stories of an Antiquary is next month's pick, but I'm going to read all of the ghost stories by M.R. James. So this one, the Oxford edition, is coming up in the very near future, but that's not all. That's not, that's not the only classic horror I'm going to be reading. I also have another charming fellow that I'm going to be revisiting, and that would be Dracula by Bram Stoker. Dracula by Bram Stoker. I'll be reading this once again, it's probably the novel I've read the most in my life, but I'll be reading it once again so that I can talk about it for Essential Classics of Horror, a video series that I'm doing slowly. But Dracula by Bram Stoker, I will be reading this fantastic book again very soon. And even more horror, I'll be reading Night Ride and Other Journeys by Charles Beaumont. I love Charles Beaumont one of the very important writers who wrote for the Twilight Zone television show. And he just wrote a bunch of fantastic fantasy horror type stories. He was a great writer. Charles Beaumont, Night Ride and Other Journeys. Night Ride and Other Journeys. So I'm gonna be reading this one. What else is coming up in my future? Well, this is a big one. This is Stephen King and Peter Straub's The Talisman. Yes, it's almost time to get back to reading every book by Stephen King. I'm going to make a real effort to, to do more of that, including this one, Stephen King and Peter Straub's The Talisman, which I've never read at all. I've never read this book. And this book has gotten some mixed reviews. It seems like every time I see somebody talk about this book, they're saying different things. Some people love it. Some think some people think it's boring. Some people hate it. You know, it's all over the place. So it's going to be interesting. The Talisman. I mean, it was good enough to make a sequel. They did make a sequel. I mean, it couldn't be that horrible, right? We'll see. It's The Talisman, and it's really, really long. How about that? It's like 760 pages or something. It's The Talisman. I'm going to be reading The Talisman. And some historical fun. Continuing the Lieutenant Hornblower's, the, continuing the Captain Hornblower series, he is a captain most of the time, but he had other ranks too, including Lieutenant Hornblower, which is number two in the Hornblower saga by C.S. Forrester. According to this, it's the greatest naval adventures of all time. And maybe at the time that this paperback was printed, they were the greatest naval adventures of all time. Maybe. But I'm definitely going to be reading this because I've been looking forward to getting back to this series. And because I didn't get to this in Garbogast, how did I miss Raiders of the Lost Ark and this well-dressed fellow, Indiana Jones? So this is the novelization of Raiders of the Lost Ark, which I meant to read during Garbogast, but didn't get to it. It is a novel by Campbell, Campbell Black, Campbell Black, and I've never heard that name before. I don't even know if that's a real name or if it's a pseudonym. I have no idea. But Campbell Black wrote the novelization for Raiders of the Lost Ark. So I'm going to read that because I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan. I watched all three of those movies. There were only, there were only three, right? Okay, I know there were five. I know there were five. I actually saw, finally, the fifth Indiana Jones movie last weekend. And I didn't hate it. I was shocked. I mean, that f Crystal Skull movie, that was not... I mean, it wasn't difficult to make a movie, an Indiana Jones movie, better than that one. But I thought, you know, a movie about 80-year-old 80 80 -year Indiana Jones, how could that be any good at all? But it, it was okay. It was weird. It was, it was a weird experience. <laughs> There were some weird things about that movie. And it wasn't the greatest movie in the world. But I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. So, I mean, there's that. I was pretty sure I was going to hate that movie. Anyway, 
pressing on. What other books am I going to be reading in the future? Well, how about Ed, Ed McBain's Cop Hater? It's Ed McBain, Cop Hater. This is a novel of the 87th Precinct. In fact, this is the first novel of the 87th Precinct. Cop Hater by Ed McBain. Going to be reading that one. That's coming up. And at long last, Tim Powers, The Anubis Gates. Tim Powers, The Anubis Gates. It's time to journey through the Anubis Gates. It's actually been time. I, I, my friend Justin gave this book to me in the 90s, and I'm just getting to it now. In fact, it's still going to be a few weeks before I get to it, at least. But I'm, it's up there, ready to be read. Tim Powers, The Anubis Gates, the next science fiction novel I'm going to read. And then comes Trouble. Trouble! Rides tall. It's Trouble Rides Tall with William Hobson. Trouble rides, trouble, trouble rides Tall. I can speak. Not well, but I can speak. Trouble Rides Tall by William Hobson. It's, a, it's an old Western novel. Because I've been intending to read more Westerns during the year, not just during the fantastic June on the Range. So Trouble Rides Tall. I'm going to read that. Then it's time for some fantasy. Fantasy. It's... M. John Harrison's Vericonium. Vericonium by M. John Harrison. I only read a part of this. I read the part of this that was titled The Pastel City. I found a paperback a long time ago called The Pastel City. I read it. I thought it was really, really good, but I never found any of the other books. But now I have this Fantasy Masterworks edition, so I can I could read. I, I don't know, I still don't know if this is all of Vericonium, if all of Vericonium is in this. But maybe, I'm going to read it. M. John Harrison's Vericonium, the next fantasy novel I'm going to read. Then comes this. Well, it's a, it's a book about spies, I guess. It's Lacar's The Spy Who Came In From The Cold. It's The Spy Who Came In From The Cold. This one's coming up. This I've never read this. I've never read anything by Lacar. So... Here you go, the spy who came in from the cold. He came in from the cold. I'm gonna read about that. Then it's more Edgar Rice Burroughs because I'm going through all the Edgar Rice Burroughs books and the next one is The Writer, The Writer by Edgar Rice Burroughs. A really thin book that I remember absolutely nothing about, although I must have read it. I must have read this book. I remember nothing about this book. So that's, that's a cool Frazetta cover though. It's got a cool Frazetta cover, so the Rider by Edgar Rice Burroughs. That's coming up. A couple more. It's time to revisit our old pals, Hap and Leonard in Savage Season by Joe R. Lansdale. I thought, you know what? I got to read all of those Hap and Leonard books again. I think there might even be a few I've never read. So it's time to revisit our pals, Hap and Leonard in Savage Season. This is the first Hap and Leonard novel. It even says, the first Happen Leonard novel. I've got all these Happen Leonard novels. And I think I'm going to revisit them, starting with Savage Season. Savage Season. And finally, finally, it's another series. It's another series that I'm going to revisit because I don't think I ever finished the series because since I stopped reading the series, a bunch of other books came out. But I remember it being pretty good. Anno Dracula by Kim Newman. Anno Dracula by Kim Newman. I like this one. I like this one a lot. I remember that. But there were all kinds of other Anno Dracula books. So I'm going to read all those Anno Dracula books. It's kind of a mix between horror and fantasy. It's it's a weird it's a weird series. Anno Dracula, alternate history with vampires. It's it's alternate history with vampires. So it's it's all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff's going on in this series, Anno Dracula by Kim Newman. Going to be reading this. Going to be reading that. And that's probably enough. Of course, I'll be reading a bunch of other stuff. But, you know, what's coming up on the channel for the 500 book channel? For the 500 book challenge? That stuff. And a whole bunch of other stuff as well. I'm just going to keep reading and reading and reading until I get to 500 books. Which I'll do one of these days. Okay, my friends. I... We'll catch you next time.